Hi everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. I have Kirk. Kirk, how are you doing? I couldn't be better. We came specifically to the Lexus dealership here in Aoyama, Japan, because we want to see this one particular very important model, which is a forbidden fruit, and this is a Lexus LM. Kirk, take away and yeah. tell us a little bit more about the LM. Yeah, this is very, very special. In Japan, minivans are the name of the game. You got small ones, medium-sized ones, massive ones. This is based off of the Toyota Alphard, which is iconic here. It moves around VIPs everywhere. Now, Lexus just came out with this car a couple of years ago, but they've already given it a second generation after only about two or three years on the market. Yes. And so we're here to bring you the all new Lexus LM. Uh, and I'm gonna bring it right back to you. Yeah, absolutely. So this is perhaps one of the most desirable cars right now in Japan and elsewhere because this is basically the executive chauffeur-driven vehicle yeah. for the celebrity perhaps. Well, not necessarily, it can be a family too. Uh, but the price tag is not something you might expect from a, from a van because it's about $180,000 Canadian or in the US. Just around $150,000. Yeah. Depends yeah. on which option or trim you pick. Either way, it's not a cheap vehicle. Right. It's more expensive than the flagship LS, for example. Yeah. And in fact, more expensive than Lexus LC500. And LX. And LX. It's the most yeah. expensive Lexus on the market that I can think of. Yeah, maybe even ever. Um, it may be the LS most. LS 600 yeah. was really expensive back in the day, That's but true. this vehicle in so many ways replaces the LS and the Eastern markets. Um, but I want to get right into the design here because yeah. the first LM had this huge grill. Now we still have it, but they've broken it up. They've given it a little bit of the Lexus RX treatment with the new fifth generation RX. They've given it the spindle body. So it starts very tight pattern here at the top and then it gets spread out apart as it goes down. And these are these honeycomb grill, which David, what do you think about yeah. these hexagons that go down? I know it's a little bit of a different treatment from some of the newer Lexus we've seen, like the TX and so forth. But for some reason, this looks good on this one. Oh, looks great. It's bold, it's radical, it's modern and trendy at the same time. Yeah. And unlike some other um, grills we've seen, each one of these is like shaped so nicely, like mm. it's all three-dimensional shape. Mm -hmm. I mean, this isn't cheap to make something like this from Absolutely a manufacturing not. perspective. My gosh, it would be a nightmare. Wow. Church Different, here, every inch you go down, the spacing changes, the piece sizes change. Uh, it's, it's a piece of art, absolutely. It's now, real cool. The old LM, I think, had the Lexus logo a little bit lower here. And so this is a trend we're going to see going forward as Lexus bringing this logo higher and higher, especially with their electric cars coming forward. Now hang tight because we're going to finish the outside um, walk around and we're going to show you the inside, which is really what this car is all about. And you're going to be shocked how beautiful and amazing inside is. Uh, maybe even better than the newest Century SUV but you guys be the judge. But let's finish off the walk around. I yep. uh, will just could, could do a quick uh, um, kind of a check on the quality. <laughs> so short. <laughs> yeah, not much to check here because the, the overhang is so short. Looks perfect. And though. the gap looks perfect. You know, this is really a Lexus level of quality. I can see by looking at it, the depth mm. of the clear coat on the paint. And you can see it, you know, this is- um, I think this is atomic silver is what we call it. Yeah, it state. is atomic silver. Yeah. Um, but you can see the thickness of clear coat is probably even more um, depth than what I've seen in the Lexus uh, LX. I don't see any orange peel on it. Yeah, nothing. And look at the uh, fit between the, the, bumper, the bumper and the front fender. Darn good too. And also between the front fender and the front door. Oh, it's a massive door. Huge doors. And from engineer's perspective, very difficult to get this panels very consistent. This wide, mm. wide, vast space. Mm -hmm. Most manufacturers cannot make such a large sheet metal and still get the texture correct. Uh, and then we have, uh, if you keep on backing here, big, big doors, so obviously huge, sliding. Huge sliding doors. And is then, there any cargo space, even though this is a four seater? Now it comes in six seat uh, configurations as well, seven seat configurations. So this one is the VIP mode. Oh, looks like the electric thing is turned yeah, off for now. The battery might be partially dead, but. Um, so you get, so I, I there's think. actually quite a bit of space in there. Yeah, if you want to so go if you ahead just come, sorry, we couldn't it. quite open all the way, but 
this is pretty big. It's dark here, but flat, very mm -hmm. usable. Such a you tall notice, opening it goes a little as bit well. Below the seat here. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see if there's anything. I love underneath. how they include the the child seat latches. Oh, what yeah, a lucky yeah. kid! Now, if I can, I don't think there's anything inside. Oh, there's a little bit of space oh, here. Oh yeah, there. there's actually a spare tire. Yeah. There. Look at this. I've never seen a spare tire covered, covered. in a fabric. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. That attention to detail that no one, most people, never see. You also have the accessory, a power port power back port here. You can well. plug in and. And run some uh, electronics back here as well. All right, so we're gonna look the close. stitching, David. The stitching even comes back here on the panels. Oh yeah, you're right. All the way. So there's from actually the, a leather here yeah. as well, uh, mm -hmm. and looks like you know what looks like it's leather all the way yep. around the seat. So I mean, it's a level of luxury you would never ever see in a van or minivan thing. So this is incredible level of details. There it goes. Let's take a well, look at the back end yeah, here. Since I'm not going to open up the hood for you guys, but I want to talk about what's yeah, the L yeah, LM 500H. Well, it comes in two different powertrains. 500H is actually very familiar. We've actually seen yes. it uh, in Toyota products, but more uh, recent in the RX 500H S for performance as a turbo charged 2.4 liter. Yes. Made it to a six speed automatic, but then between that, there's electric motor to power, help power the front end. Yes. There's also a separate electric mm -hmm. motor in the rear to power the rear wheel. So you have a total horsepower combination around 360 horsepower. Uh, and so not only is this fuel efficient, but it's got a lot of power as well. Kirk, just to notice some people walking. So I'm gonna try to hop in before yeah, uh, someone takes the in. space. Let's hop in. We have a nice uh, grab handle here. It's also stitched, stitched a little leather. umbrella holder, which is um, yep. a little bit like, uh, I guess in some way what they do with the Royce Royce, although in the Royce yep. Royce, the umbrella goes into the door, yeah. <laughs> um, but still beautiful. So I got two step here, mm -hmm. big, big uh, step here, and then second step, and I walk right in. Oh, these seats oh, are butter. Look at that, so That's beautiful. semi inline leather, oh, leather. That's what that goodness. is. So these seats are gonna be heated and ventilated, of course. We have sunroofs that go above, and then there are sunshades that can cut off. Uh, we don't have all the electronics available to us right yeah, now, but yeah, it looks like it's turned off a little bit. Of course, you have the vanity lights, vanity mirror. But the most important thing is are the seats. So let's see if uh, we what. So these are little uh, remote control, uh, like a, a basic like iPhone style control, and then we just swipe up. Oh no, it's power is down. So yeah. we have to. I think it's kind of in like a demo yeah, mode right yeah. now. But we had a power a little bit earlier, so we'll just ask them to turn on the power. So, Kirk, you keep on talking and I'll see right. if I can get the power. Ah, see my sand. See my sand. Well, David's out seeing if we can not, get some electronics some going. going. We do have, of course, the champagne coolers, like actually a couple of glasses in there. Um, and to, to complement this beige interior, we have this bronze accenting. It even goes into the cargo area a little bit, but it's all around the cooler, around uh, what this area, this could actually be vents, because there are vents everywhere circulating the air to make sure these VIP customers are comfortable. Inside this is a little glove box, a car that has three glove boxes. Who would have thought? Of course, you're gonna have one in the front, but you have them uh, for each passenger back here to store your belongings. Now, okay. Oh. Is David, are we good? Are we yeah, good? Yeah, I'm gonna hop in now that okay. we're able to turn on the power. And uh, now what we see here is a, a massive screen. It's only taken up about the center, but you could independently run input over here for this passenger, input over here for that passenger, and have a unique movie theater experience. I mean, these seats, look at the additional pillow back here. This is something yeah. you typically only see in Asia. We exactly. don't get this treatment in North America. But let's put the uh, seats in the uh, sort of uh, most comfortable mode. So you swipe up, we touch the seat, and the oh, oh, massage chair, so it's full massage. But uh, here's a deep, uh, yeah, here you can put that one. I think we can actually, there's a go. one touch button for. Got the ottoman coming up. Yep. And just the, the quality of the carpet on the bottom. Like, wow. Yeah, it's like uh, plush carpeting. It's plush. Something that we used to see, like, you know, in the old days when we had beautiful carpets. And here's the thing we were in the uh, Century SUV yesterday. When I, I had the seat all the way back, my feet were touching the front. Right, that's true. That's not the case here in the LM. I actually, my feet are, have a little bit of clearance here. They're actually not touching. <laughs> I'm going to play a oh. little game on him and by right. moving I'm all the gonna... way to the back. I'm see waiting that? for the massaging seats, David. Oh, wow. You know what? He almost oh my goes gosh. <laughs> this is, it goes this is flat. all the way. This is all the he way. He goes flat. Oh, my goodness. So, 
Oh, this is so comfortable, guys. I mean, you could spend one hundred and fifty thousand on a oh, down payment for goodness. a house, or you can buy an LM and you can live in it. Exactly. So, so obviously, what, you know, life I've, choices. I mean, even like part of the way through. Oh, I think I gained a little bit of weight, so I got to hide my stomach you and me a little both. bit. But oh my goodness, this is so comfortable. You have a beautiful um, tra yeah, wood yeah, yeah, yeah. trim mm -hmm. on the top. Chevron pattern uh, wood up top. Yeah. And I want to play with these sun shades. Check this out. Here. Yeah. We can automatically oh, yeah. control the sun shades from up here. Let me just come back a little bit so I'm not I lying if I can too much. David, can we close these side doors? I uh, can't yeah. read Japanese. Yeah, so. yeah. Uh, it's not from here. so it's What do we have over here? Oh, yeah. side there, what is this? Is this a... Uh, Let me just is this like a, a, oh, you know, we can control the seat here too, by the way. We don't oh. have to use a tablet. Oh, gosh, David. We're just getting started. Yeah, there is Look also a little table here. Oh, my gosh. It keeps folding out. Yeah, so this is and little, this is even it, oh. soft touch here in the middle. It's metal. This isn't plastic. This is a high quality. Oh yeah, look, it's also um, swivels. Swivel. Swivel. Well, that's oh, a little it, smaller than I thought. It even but... locks into place. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh my god. Oh, so nice, beautiful. And so here's the thing. It's all the little attention oh, to detail. I think this is the what that closes the door. No, this is a shade. Oh, this is this is the shade. Yeah, there's all. Uh, we'll figure out the buttons. Oh, there. It's the windows. You're playing with the windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but. but uh, let me see that can't if work. I'm in a hurry and mm. I try to close this fast, since it is soft touch, it dulls the sound. Yeah. So you're not yeah, disturbing exactly. the other passengers in here. This is like a true, true Lexus oh, this is a, level of detail here. Yeah. Okay, so that's out of the way. David, no, I haven't been in a lot of Bentleys or, mm -hmm. or Rolls Royce. I, I would believe that, you know. You've been around a little bit longer than me. I mean, I actually so you, had a Rolls Royce. So you had a, a Rolls Royce uh, as a as a press car, not as oh, my okay, own car. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so you know firsthand how would this compare to something that would cost two to three times more than this in a Rolls Royce? Right. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it has this one has the feel of a very expensive European luxury car in terms of the feel, the leather. All the details. I mean, the you know the biggest difference would be with those cars you can customize to the nth degree right. and choose your own color for leather, the trims, and yeah. so you can spend hours. I, in fact, you can spend days customizing the vehicle. So that would be the biggest difference. Okay. And they're a little bit also a little bit over the top um, design in terms of the you know all the leather and so oh, forth. I think a little bit too, too much. Too much detail. Too much. It's not a calming experience in some ways. It's just too much. Exactly. Too, yeah. No, I see attention. a little bit of a light pattern there. Look at the uh, my foot there. Oh yeah, we have ambient lighting. That's yeah, I don't cascading. think I see it. It looks it's like actually like a crystal, a, laser yeah, crystal, like a same kind of, a, not quite the same shape as a front grille, but giving you that feel of a like a chandelier. Kind yeah, of? Yeah. Look. So there's so there's really a type cool. of uh, laser etched glass, uh, which is an ornament in the LS. Yes. So there might be kind of oh, representing that's true. that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. There it was might a be name similar. for that too. Yeah. Let me see if I can. Let me just turn on the light here now. That, can, oh. I, can I close the side door? Yeah. Um, oh, let me I don't see. think it's going to, it's not going to let me close this. Oh, oh, it is going to let me close it. What did it. you just push to close uh, this it? This button. Oh, okay, okay. I won't close oh, my, my side. Oh my goodness. Wow. Is that okay. all speakers? No, I think it's Mark just Levinson. this. Oh, just there. It's just the the, the, the perforation pattern. here. Yeah, and I'm you guys are actually. In fact, you're hearing some piano music in the background. That's from the oh, man. actual. We could get copyright strike for that. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Yeah, we need to stop the music, but I gotta find out how to do that, which will be a bit tricky to do. Let me see. Is this a touch panel? No, no, it's not a touch panel. Actually. I wish. I wish. Yeah, but I can't. Uh, quite Mike. Volume controls. As you can tell, we're still learning this car because we just literally <laughs> came and hopped in and uh, we haven't quite figured out everything in right. terms of how to use this vehicle yet. This is only seat here. So uh, let me see where is the maybe the radio control is. It might be up in the front. And this might be a good segue for us getting into the yeah, front. Yeah, I guess too. so. That's true. Let's go to the I front. I mean, we could spend another hour back that's here playing true. with everything. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to the front. Oh, maybe this is the oh, this temperature. Control no, that's also, the temperature. Right? Where? Oh, here. Is it this one? No? No, yeah. It shows that uh, even we can't figure everything out. Yeah, we, you know, the fact that we don't have easy volume control is a bit concerning. That is, it, that is a I bit I bet strange. it's all built into here. I just don't... No, I, can, I don't, I don't think so. Air conditioning. No, right here. Right here. The music. Oh, audio. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I didn't see it. Off. Okay. Off. Wait, wait, wait. Why can't it? It's, it says it's off. Here, here. Power. Off. I got oh, it. thank you, David. Yeah. These are big, big doors, by the way. Huge. 
So we're gonna go to the front, uh, and Kirk can go into uh, driver's side. I'll go into passenger side. There's some music oh, going uh, on, so yeah, yeah. Let's turn that off. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, let me hop into here. You know what? Even though it's meant to chauffeur drive someone, it's beautiful inside. Look at the vast oh, yeah. amount of leather, the quality of the stitching. This is beyond a normal Lexus quality. I, I yeah. think, honestly, this is the best manufactured Lexus I've seen ever. Of all the Lexus models I've seen, look at the quality that, of the stitching. That, that's saying something. That says a lot. And Not I mean, including maybe the four hundred thousand dollar LFA. That's, no, that's true. A, that's too. an exception. That's true too. Yeah. But that one is not a luxury vehicle, so it's no, a little bit it's different. Performance, um, yeah. Now we have a big cup holder, same kind of Lexus yeah. shifter. This, this looks this looks like it's taken out of the NXRX, and that's when you know like this is still a Toyota. You know, yeah, they're gonna reuse true. some parts. Like the steering wheel looks like it's taken from the RX. That's true. And the infotainment system is straight out of all, all the other Lexus yeah, models. Yeah, yeah, 14 inch touchscreen inch. here, the new Lexus interface yeah. software. Mm -hmm. So Lexus RX, mm -hmm. Lexus NX interface here. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a couple people in the back. Oh, and here's the thing, getting... this smokes out. So, yeah. um, it's also a... soundproofed here as it's well. It's soundproof. I don't know if I know where the button is to, uh, yeah, let me see. This is open close. We roof, do have a sunglasses shade. holder though. Yeah. Side shade. Side shade. No, that's side shade. That's for the back mm -hmm. as well. So once again, we are still trying to figure a few things figure out. Figure everything out. Oh, this one. This is probably ah. to turn off. Oh, there it is. Oh. So there now I just push it. this button. It's got the uh, opaque mm -hmm. and you can't see anything in the back now. This mm -hmm. is uh, chromatic technology which is what we saw in the uh, Venza SUV and too. also in the Century yeah. SUV. It uses electric uh, chemical reaction to make it transparent or not. So I'll turn it oh, So now I can see through again. Yep. So that's really you cool. You can also, if you oh, yeah, need, there you if go. You need oh, that's talk, fast. That's, that's the fastest that's Toyota window I've ever seen. That's ridiculously fast. Did you guys see and that? Have, of course, that's a soft close function. Yeah, that because you can't so inconvenience fast. the VIPs with a, yeah, a slow that's window. True. I want look soft close, so it's very quiet. Yeah, and it's but automation. there must be some kind of voice through pass through, you know, from the back to the front in case you don't want to open the. Window, yeah, there's that technology in like the Sienna, right? Where, you know, you, there should be. I don't. There's a there's a microphone. Right the microphone's here that it, it'll play through the back speaker, so I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if it's a feature. But I guess I guess maybe traditional customer might want to just open the partition and t talk to the driver, mm -hmm. which is probably why this thing is super fast. Now you got a little bit of a sensor here. That might be like the sleep monitor or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, traffic jam assist, yeah. that sort of thing, safety features. You even have paddle shifters in here to roll oh, through okay. the six speed cool. automatic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And actually the seats are very comfortable in the front as well. Like mm -hmm. uh, no issues in terms of the comfort, even for the front passenger and also for the driver, mm -hmm. assuming that they have to go for a long distance somewhere we want maximum comfort. Oh, by the way, there is actual TV. A real TV playing right now. Which uh, would never happen in America due to safety regulations. Yeah. So I was That is wild. <laughs> well, we're stopped. So I'm going to assume that when we start moving that this will not be allowed. I had no idea that yeah. was a thing. But this is live, is t live TV. It's actual live TV. I can't. Oh, I can't. oh, okay. You can type in the channels too. Yeah, exactly. What's I, what I find is interesting, so we have cool. some redundancy. So I can open and close the doors with this control over here. Yeah, they're and also up here. here. Too. I don't understand that, but I guess it's mm -hmm. great to have choices. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. This is open and, and look, this yeah. is all soft touch. Even the, yep. the front to the the glove box here is soft this touch. Is so your open. knees are never going to be oh, it's locked. Inconvenient. You lock the glove. The only hard armrest, touch thing, so. David, is underneath the armrest that I found in this entire vehicle. Yeah, that's everything right. else. A little is bit soft. hard plastic here, yep. but once again, look at the quality of the stitching here, the type of leather they chose. Oh, and it's got the same kind of NX RX um, electric door latch, so you can just press it yep. to get out instead of um, pulling the normal lever. So that's the same. And of course, engineering wise, it makes sense for them to share a lot of components as well. Right. So now the big question is would we ever see this in North America? That's the big question. Kirk, what do you think? 5% chance. That might be generous. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like 2% two percent chance. Two percent chance. Yeah, mainly just because there there aren't sort of market for chauffeur driven vehicle in North America. Yeah. Especially one that costs this much money. If it does come to stateside, I mean Here's like you thing. said, hundred sixty, hundred eighty thousand dollar US. I think if they could maybe strip I mean, we don't need a lot of this luxury if they bring it to America. 
we need something that's a little, sits above the Sienna. That's true. Uh, give us six to seven seats in the back um, and make it. I mean, here's the thing. The new TX that they just revealed only seats six people if you want yeah. a hybrid powertrain. And that just doesn't make sense to me. No. Maybe that's because I have a bunch of kids. Right. But that alienates the, the big true. families. So. And at the end of the day, the, the word van or minivan still has a bit of a you know, stereotypical uh, feel to it in a sense that people don't want to be seeing in a van. It still looks like a van. Mm -hmm. And so that might be the biggest challenge because people want to be seeing in a muscular, off-road capable SUV like the TX. And so they're going to continue to push that uh, instead of the minivan. But you never know. Who knows? It's if great you... to have choices. And, you know, yeah. Toyota's giving us so many choices in their normal lineup. Luxury deserves choice too, more oh, yeah, than even the, the mainstream lineup. So. Yeah, let us know in the comments below if you guys think Lexus should bring the LM to North America market. The more people talk yeah. about it and the more feedback they get, who I, knows, they could change their strategy my, down the my road. Hope, my hope is hanging on the fact that they bring it to Europe and now Australia with the second generation. That's so true. There's always a possibility yeah. Yeah. in their traditional number one luxury market, which is North America, for them to bring it back I home. agree. Yeah, I love it. I really think it's uh, worth the price uh, because of the such a special feel in the back. I mean, if you're going to be transported somewhere on a business or whatever the reason might be, you're going to be want, uh, enjoy yeah. really the ride with the LM. I can't even talk now because I'm so tired. I'm tired but, too. Yeah. And, and it, it would completely put aside the LS in some ways, but also the LX Ultra Luxury that has the four seats. This is a way more economy vehicle, way yes. more comfortable vehicle, way better vehicle for for on-road usage I than so a four-seater lx all right guys so we're going to end it uh here right now again let us know in the comments what you guys think don't forget to subscribe and watch kirk's channel hopefully you can do the same for my channel out of automotive press we're going to continue to collaborate many things together and a lot more coming your way and uh, we're so excited to be in japan still so until next video we're signing off for now bye peace out